the presentation is on templating search results, as it says here. This is a presentation we gave in Drupal Government Days last August. I'll give you a little back background information about this. First of all, starting about two and a half years ago, I was tasked with building a sort of stock photo gallery with roughly 5,000 nodes. And search was going to be the primary method of navigation. So our vision included things like facets. We wanted to have faceted searches. We wanted partial engrams where, where you can search by just a few characters. And we wanted to do custom indexing and, and even have recommendations and all the you know fancy search features that, that you might want in your search results. And because it was a picture thing, we also wanted it to look really cool and display our pictures because this was a this was a kind of a stock photo search engine. But this is what we found when we went to Drupal and started doing search results. And we thought, okay, no problem. We can we can uh, just theme it. We can add our pictures with theming. But it turned out it was a little more complicated than, than that. And in fact, it was somewhere between a hack and a rabbit hole. And and I was going, oh shoot, what am I going to do? Because the, the the more I tried to implement this, the more I realized, oh shoot. Um, you know, you can hack it, but it's not really conventional. No one but me could read it. And after the first tiny update came along, everything would break. Or that way and build it using Drupal standards. But that just seemed like a lot of work. But I didn't know what else to do, so to build it the right way, take our time and see what we could do. And overall the, the project took us about two years. Um, so after going back and forth, trying out search solutions, and, and back then the big thing was the uh, it, it's solar. It was it was uh, oh, what was it called? Apache Solar, right? That's that's what the gray thing is up at the top, and and we decided that 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 wasn't going to work. It was just not flexible enough. It wasn't going to let us do the graphics that we wanted, and it wasn't going to let us do anything even remotely related to theming and, and templated work. So we decided to look at some other things. We had gone to Search API earlier and abandoned it. We came back to Search API. We saw some potential there and came down to Search API Solar Search, which is a sub-module of the Search API suite, and Search API Pages, which was another sub-module included inside the Search API module. And, and from there, we were able to make templates. So I talked to Thomas Seidel, who is uh, also known as Drunken Monkey on Drupal.org. And, and then, uh, after talking to him, we, we broke out Search API pages as its own module and started to add templating. So, after about two years, this is this is what what we came up with, and this is how it works. First, we install Apache Solar. It's not required in order to run the Search API or to have templated search results, but we wanted all those features, so we installed pa Apache Solar. And once you see the things that it does, you might think, well, that that could be really good for us to have too. Then the second thing was to set up the Search API and all the, the support modules that go with it, depending on your configuration. Uh, you can figure all your indexing, et cetera. And then the last thing is to, finally, is to theme your search results using templates. So there's an important note here, and that is that uh, using our Search API solution, uh, Solar and Apache Solar is a Java application, and we'll let you decide if if that's acceptable to you or not. Some people are a little paranoid with respect to Java, um, but that was used for a lot of things besides just uh, search. So, uh, and most Apache servers already have Java installed in it uh, by default. So, we went ahead and, and went with that. We've uh, been supporting it ever since. So, very simply, you have to download Solar and install it somewhere handy on your server. I put mine at slash user 
slash share slash solar. I'm going to repeat that slash user USR S H A R E slash solar S O L R. But you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, and then just start using it using the Java command, uh, the one that's listed right here at the bottom. Um, but it's really better to, to start it and run it and stop it using a daemon. A lot of you probably don't even know what a daemon is. Maybe some of you do. And maybe some of you are really afraid of daemons, and, and there's good reason for that. For those who don't know, a daemon is a script that runs your solar service or any service in the background. All right, HTTPD is a is a daemon that runs your HTTP protocol on your server so that people can see your website. Uh, MySQL has a daemon called MySQL B, uh, depending on the the service that you're running. Um, and and most of the programs that start up whenever you restart your server without you having to start them manually are using a daemon. So the easiest thing to do here would be to just use the GitHub repo indicated at the top in red, github.com slash Tom Ogden slash solar underscore daemon. And that will enable you to use just that daemon right there, install it, uh, given these instructions, and these are included in the readme file in that repo at GitHub. All right, that's just that's probably the easiest way to do it. You could design your own daemon, and if you do, please share it with us because I'm sure you can make some improvements on what we've got. After that, it's time to work on Search API. We'll just we'll just assume that you are successful in getting Apache Solar installed, and there's lots of help out there if you need to get Apache Solar installed on your server. But now we're going to work on Search API. You need to have Entity API, you need to have Views, and so forth. Apache Solar Search, Apache uh, Search API uh, pages, and so forth. And and this is, by the way, this is Thomas Seidel, creator and primary maintainer of the Search API suite in Austria. So number one, you install the required modules that I mentioned above. Number two, copy the configuration files from Search API Solar into your solar installation, just like that. Now you see the mention of the example directory right there, right here. That's literal. Now you can change the example directory if you do that. Just make sure that you do that consistently with any references in your daemon. Your Search API daemon has the word example in there for the directory. You want to change it there, and you want to change it uh, you know, when you, if you make if you copy the example directory and make your own and rename it, just make sure you copy the XML files that I made. All right, I'm going pretty quick here. Any uh, any other questions before I move on? Go ahead and post it. Let's see. No questions from the from the masses. All right. All right. So these last three steps, I'm going to go over uh, a little more thoroughly with the next three slides. Uh, number one, uh, you've got to define your server. I went and defined a server called Solar Server. That's what I named it. Um, and you can name it any anything you want. It's, it's defined in your configuration. As you can see at the top of the, of the window, it says Home, Admin, Configuration, Search, and Metadata right here, and Search API. So when you go and configure, you create a server, and then you're going to create an in. The important thing about the server is this right here with the red arrows pointing. If you configure it correctly, both on the server and Search API, you're going to see this line right here saying that it that it could be reached. If you didn't do it correctly or if there's a problem with your configuration on the server, you're going to get an error there and it will notify you right away. It's very handy, very useful. Otherwise, you're shooting in the dark wondering why nothing's working. Okay, then you define an index. Now, as you're defining the index, you'll see that it's easy to just go through these tabs, you know, check your status. 
set your settings, decide what fields you're going to search right here, and then check your workflow, which is how the fields are going to be formatted, when they, you know, how they're going to be sorted and presented, so and so forth. And then the facets here, you decide which facets you're going to actually display. All right and they're based on the fields that you have. Um, once that's done, then you select these fa faceted blocks, or in other words, the blocks that appear because of the facets you just defined in the block section. So we're no longer in Search API here. We just go over to Ad Administration Structure Blocks, and you'll see these appear. And all you have to do is, is you know, put them in a region. Very easy, basic Drupal. Any questions so far? All right. We'll move on. Okay, next is the templating stage. All right. Um, so that's got these three steps to find the search page, pick a display view mode, and use templates for results versus or result versus results. I'll explain that as we go. Defining the search page, this is a two-part form, okay? Um, it defines both the form field that's used for the search, which appears in a block, and it also defines the page that the results are displayed in. It's important to name the search page so that you don't lose it among other search page forms that Drupal keeps uh, configured. Uh, and then connect it with the specific index indicated uh, by the second red arrow right here. All right. Um, you have to use different indexes, or, or you can use different indexes for different search use cases. So if you wanted uh, to have an index just for pictures, another index just for articles, for example, then you could have search fields that also treat those separate indexes and put those in different places. So it makes it really handy. Okay, lastly, enter the URL where you want the results to appear, right? So when you define the page, like I mentioned above, you've defined the block above, now you're going to define the page, and this is where it's, where it's done. Now the second part of this form is right here. We pick which fields that we're actually going to search. These are the fields available in the index that you def defined uh, in the previous step. And, and the number of search results that you want to have, um, typically 10, 20, or whatever. Um, let's see. Uh, and then, probably the most important part right here is decide which display or view mode that you're going to use uh, when, when you display it. In other words, if, if by default, uh, there's a you're going to leave it as, as it is here, where it's themed as search results. And then you just uh, theme the search results template that I'm going to show you in a minute. Otherwise, you could theme these as, some, as for instance, uh, teasers, or some other custom display or view mode that you've defined yourself. You could go either way. The nice thing about this uh, about search API and, and templated search is you don't have to use the templates that we provide in the module, but you can actually use uh, a custom result and just do it your own way. It enables that. 